All right. Whoa. This is it. It's finally happening, man. It's, it's finally, finally happening. happening. First time ever. First Ready? First time ever. Pedal demos. Pedal demos. Hold I'm Big Dan. This is Lil Max here. We're from Short Walk to Pluto. And we are here to demo some of the brand new Universal Audio pedals that they just released. Oh my god, released, I can't uh, believe they sent us I know, they sent us a couple pedals here. They Dream just released, uh, is it four pedals? Four or five new pedals? Four new small pedals. Uh, they have their flagship line. These right. are kind of a cut down version of those. Gotcha. So they sent us two here to check out here. And um, uh, we're uh, really excited about this. The first one that we're going to be talking about is the brand new 1176 compressor in a box. They took the classic blue stripe design. Put it in a little box and you put it on your pedal board. And uh, that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at here. So. This thing is hyper famous, For sure. right? Like other than maybe the LA-2A, which is an, also an amazing compressor, Absolutely. 1176, you can use it on anything. You can use it, well, obviously for guitar and bass, it, it sounds fantastic, but also vocals, drums, right. kick drum, snare drum, put it on the overheads, who cares? Um, but it sounds fantastic. They have three different compressors in here. Right. Um, uh, a single uh, 1176, a dual one kind of gets like a Led Zeppelin sound. It's in series. And then they crank it over here in the sustain setting if you right. really like, you know, that absolutely switch sound. And on the back of it, um, there's two settings. You can go right. buffered or true bypass through this. Yes. And parallel. Parallel or compression. You, where you're blending the dry signal and right. the compressed signal. Um, right. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at the compressor first. Um, actually, before we do, let's talk briefly about the uh, Heavenly pedal, the plate reverb that they also sent us over. So um, let's take a little look at that here. Uh, brand new plate reverb pedal that they came out with. Max, you love plate reverb while well, you it's use amazing. reverb on everything. Of, literally, name a more famous kind of reverb. Right. Other than maybe spraying, you can put plate on everything. And on guitar especially, it's phenomenal. This also does some really wild, like, um, ambient type tones, gotcha. which is fantastic. So nice. when, you, when you, if you're dialing in the a short walk to Pluto sound. Um, definitely both of these are essential. Even Dan has the big brother to this guy, uh, the UA Max on his board right That's now. That's true. Yes, I do have that. And this one is uh, sort of a subsidiary of that, um, mm. dealing with just the 1176 compression. So absolutely. All right, well, let's take a look at the 1176. Let's Do dial some tones. Tone. Yeah, so you're Dry running, signal. Yeah, I got the running your, uh, pinky Frankie strat, strat here. Yeah. the HSS. Running into the Dirty Shirley. The Dirty Shirley. Um, yeah, and here, here's how it sounds. <laughs> Take a look at the classic rock. Classic rock. Classic rock. Here's the compressor on. We're in the dual setting right now. Yes. Um, I believe we're, we're on full compression. Yes. Uh, we got um, a really neat feature for we're going to start playing. You can actually turn the compressor off. So if you like the yes. FET sound, which this is a FET compressor, and you just want to use this like a boost or an overdrive, you can just turn the compressor off and, um, and use that. But right now we're in a ratio of four dual compressors. So got that Led Zeppelin -y sound. Sounds awesome. Uh, what, what attack and release sounds yeah, we so, have here? So the uh, the way these pedals work is that um, the more clockwise you turn the the knobs, the faster the attack and the faster release time you're going to have. So what you're dealing with here is you've got a really slow attack time, relatively speaking, because the 1176 is of course a very hyper very fast, hyper fast attacking mm. compressor. Um, and then the release time you've got uh, pretty much really short as well. So you've got a really um, really slow attack time uh, and a really fast release time. Um, now yep. it's also a fixed threshold compressor so yep. uh, what you're going to find is as you drive the input a little bit higher um, that this LED here is actually going to end up uh, turning yellow and yeah. red to indicate whether or not you're clipping. I personally like it where it kind of you're not getting too much compression right. you know on a distorted guitar signal is already pretty compressed but sounds fantastic so let's yes. keep it in this setting we'll start sure. um, sig um, in the single compressor here's it again off and then we'll turn it on. Let's check out that uh, that dual compression. So this is again running um, both. Uh, this is again running two 1176s in, in series. In series so yeah. And then just very quickly, let's take a look at what it's like with the compressor essentially off. So you're just getting the sort of salt and pepper from the left side. That's great. I'd also
also sounds Love fantastic. That. So Check this out with parallel too. Oh yes. Probably my favorite setting that I was finding is in the dual. You got this. You're on a ratio of four. Bit of parallel. Here we go. Here's here's your please. <laughs> it's great. It's a real thick tone. That's nice. Chunky. That's very good. Chunky. Lovely. Well, let's take a look here at the heavenly plate yeah. reverb. So again, Max, you use this on, on pretty much everything here. Pretty um, much all, all my guitar sounds have plate reverb. Um, by the way, I will mention, I love this 1176 pedal so much. I think I'm gonna buy it straight up. Put it on good. my board. Match your, your UA Max that you have on yours. So we're gonna be running two 1176s. So if you do like the short walk to Pluto sound, why would this you? Is yeah, this, this is it. Yeah, this is the sound, man. Now. This is the sound. But uh, let's do the plate. So we got the dark setting right here. Um, uh, let's keep the module, uh, the mod in the, in the middle. Obviously you got your pre-delay down. Yep. Mod uh, on the top is slow, also buffered. And let's see how this sounds on the bridge of Yorkley. Fantastic. Great. Now this mod here, the further down we we, we turn yeah. it off. You're of basically course, turning so it off. Right. Yeah. Turning off the modulation here and then the mix, of course, yeah. just adding it more into your mix. Here. More. Well, let's, let's try nice some of the other colors here as bring well. Bring that up too, yeah, yeah. Let's try the um this is the bright color, am I correct? Yeah, it is the bright one. Alright, so let's try the mix. I like the dark one, but the, I think the bright one actually <laughs> sounds even better. That sounds lovely. Yeah. Let's try really quickly. Let's try that same yeah. color as well. Absolutely. This is the um, this is the modern one. So like right. usually plate is a very vintage kind of sound, very 70s. They used right. to have big rooms, big plates in them. They used to pump the sound through and they used to vibrate the plates and create this crazy wild sound. Gotcha. Um, uh, but yeah, that's kind of what they got here in the, in the, in the, uh, in the box. This is kind of the modern recreation. ambient stuff here if we just crank the mix a little bit more and uh, maybe keep that mod uh, uh, at around noon or so. That's awesome. Real nice ambient tone out of that. That looks mm -hmm. fantastic. All right. All right. Well, uh, that was a great demo on guitar. I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab the bass. We're going to switch over to the 1176. Again, we're going to throw it on bass and see how that sounds. Big Dan, here comes the bass. All right, we're back. Yeah. We're back here with the bass. Big Dan on the big bass. Yes. So we're going to be running a uh, 60s reissue uh, Fender Jazz Bass into a 65 Fender Bassman. The Green yeah. Monster. Green Monster. The Swamp Monster, as we just called yeah. it lovingly in the days. Now this guy here gets very, um, it gets very uh, dirty, I think after about four, so we keep it below that. Yeah, but, um, clean yeah. sound. Nice clean we're gonna sound. run the, the compressor into it, where I think we're yes. on the single setting right now. We are, um, yes. And what kind of, a, you dialed in some attack and released uh, yeah. here, what, what so, you got? Bear in mind, obviously the 1176 is uh, already such a fast compressor, so we don't need it, we don't need it terribly, terribly fast, but um, we do on bass kind of want it to attack the signal a little bit faster than we do on guitar. So you'll notice on guitar, it was pretty much turned, uh, turned all the way to the minimum, but on bass, we've got it, uh, at around a third or so. Um, they release a uh, similar situation. We kind of want of a, we, we do want a, uh, longer release. So, or a slower release rather. So we've got to dial back a little bit more than we did on guitar. Uh, now the ratio again, we're keeping at around four. Uh, we could hit it at eight, but it tends to get a little bit, a little bit dirtier, a little bit yeah. too compressed at eight. I think yeah. so. Maybe if you're running in parallel, you could run it in a, yeah. in, like so you're really squeezing the yep. compressed sound, but then you're also blend, blending in that drive signal. Absolutely. Also, you know what I found interesting, and I learned so, the other day. So the, because obviously the waveforms on the bass are so long, right. um, if you have a really quick compressor, you're just going to cut that off, and you're not going to get the low, and it's going to sound really okay. distorted. So also another great reason to make maybe back it off a little bit more than the, uh, the guitar. Right. Absolutely. All right. All right. Well, let's give it a let's give it a look here. Uh, let's play some of our tracks and uh, see how it sounds. So that's dry, and let's cool. uh, give it a look with the 11 Single song. compressor, all compressed signal. Here we go. All right. Um, and 
and I'm gonna put it on eight as said before. And uh, for yes. this last down here, let's put it on the, the parallel mode and see how that sounds. For sure. Absolutely. Give her. I gotta say my, my preference is probably for uh, keeping this ratio on about four or so. Um, parallel? In, uh, in parallel, in parallel, parallel sounds, uh, sounds quite nice. So we're getting a nice little blend of that dry sound in there as well. Uh, sounds great, sounds terrific. Yeah. All right. These are the two pedals, man. Yes. This is our first ever pedal demo. Let, me, let us know how we did in the comments. Yes, let us know how we did. Please like. subscribe, follow mention whatever you can do listen to our music did listen you like that baseline well. that was mary's paper boat <laughs> that was uh tell danny that he likes your baseline a couple, a couple <laughs> tracks we do have release already so um and do look out for our upcoming album uh we do have an album release and it's going to be soaked in the 1176 soaked in 1176 album Absolutely. number two soaked in, in 76 soaked in 76 <laughs> let's go thank you guys very much hope you enjoyed